Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use the loadout command. Now previously, I made a video about how to use it, but then an update rolled by and it changed and now it does not work the way it used to. So pretty soon, if not already, I will get rid of that video to minimize confusion and so I will be showing you how to do it properly now. So this command is meant to be used on a server. So if you don't already have a server, please check out the video I have made on how to create a server. I guarantee you, actually I don't quite guarantee you, but it will work most of the time. Uh, the only reason I can't guarantee you that is because sometimes weird crap happens and normal stuff that would work doesn't work. But anyway, I have a test server here. And if you see, if I run it, I've already got some commands in there just basic ones it runs and it works so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to your unturned uh, folder here where it's installed and that should be within a bunch of steam folders um, if you don't know how to find that I have also made a tutorial on where you can find that so anyway go into your unturned folder and navigate to the servers folder inside there there should be uh, one folder for each type of or each server you have and it'll match the name so obviously test server gonna open the test folder so inside this you wanna open up the server folder again and then you've got these uh, .dat files so you're gonna wanna open the command .dat uh, with some sort of editor I would suggest notepad++ because it's easy to use and it's free and so this is where you're gonna put your commands that will start up on loading the server so, so the basics of the loadout command are pretty much the same. You type in loadout and you put a space. Now, at this point, it changes. In the past, you would be able to start putting um, item ID numbers like 99, 100, and you know whatever you want. Obviously, not letters. And you know that would just be the loadout. At this point, it has changed. So I've got a nice little text document. Um, sort of outlining the changes so what you have to do now is there are skill sets and pretty much these skill sets are um, their skill sets that you can choose for your player so I'll show you in a bit but you can choose one for each of the player it's like a specialty it used to be um, attack support and defense now there's ten of them there is civilian firefighter police officer spec ops farmer fisher lumberjack worker chief thief and doctor and so these all can have their own custom loadout now now to make loadout work like it used to you put 255 and that'll give pretty much no matter what um, skill set you have it'll give any of those items to everybody so we'll do like let's see let's do 81 I'm pretty sure that is actually have a page. I'm pretty sure that is some sort of yeah, that's MRE. So okay, we'll give everybody MREs on this server when they log in. We'll give them three of them. So another change about this loadout command is you can now have multiples. And that's pretty cool. Before you could only have one and that'd just be the loadout that'd give it to everybody. So we're gonna start making specialty loadouts depending on what type of um, specialty you are what type of class in a way so civilian is zero so obviously this one started with 255 because it was meant for everybody this one's gonna start with zero and that's pretty much how it works uh, if you wanna have we'll, we'll make multiple and we'll do let's do spec ops because that's cool so we'll make this server will only support the average player the civilian and the spec ops so I'm just gonna add a couple items in here and it'll be pretty clear when I log into the server you know which skill set I have okay so at this point I have sort of made some generic loadouts I've got some basic clothes and I've got uh, one each, each one as a weapon so uh, one thing to consider when you're building these loadouts is that it moves from left to right so pretty much you may not think that's a big deal, but if you front load a bunch of items and guns at this end of the loadout, what will happen is it will try to give it to the player before he actually has enough clothing or room to actually hold those. So 
one of the best things to do when making these loadouts is put the clothing and the things that can hold extra items at the front of this loadout chain because you know these can become pretty long also you don't want to try to give the player too many items uh, because if if you fill up their inventory it can actually become glitchy and it can like give them double items so they'll start stacking and sometimes you can't get rid of them and you'll get weird glitches uh, it's happened to me before when I've been playing on the server so you want to try to make sure you don't overfill you know the inventory or it's possible it might just drop the extra items but either way you know it's kind of a uh, kind of crappy you don't want to have them uh, have to pick up the items and stuff so let us test this um, I will have a l I'll put uh, this in the description I'll also have a link to uh, this page this is a beautiful page you can just scroll through it's categorized where you can find all the IDs um, a little extra information just separate them by a forward slash so if you wanted to add like 82 there's one add another one 82 so I just gave them like two extra bags of chips so that's pretty much the whole syntax of it. it's really simple okay so let's try this in a server okay guys so I found an interesting discovery actually so I tried uh, these loadouts in the server and what would happen is it would ignore the fact that I am in the civilian class and I'll show you how to do that here in, in just a second and it would only give me the generic uh, 255 uh, like give it to everybody loadout so what I found out is you can only have either specified loadouts like this or just one base loadout so pretty much what happens is this loadout overrides all the others and pretty much causes the server to ignore them so we're actually gonna get rid of this so it is a bummer what that means now is that we're going to have to give each uh, loadout their own source of like food and water you know basic things that you would before possibly if it worked that way just be able to mass give everybody so you know that is a bummer but you know loadout command still a lot more customizable so now I will show you guys how to set your own skill set and I will then log on to the server okay guys so here we are on the main screen so the first step to changing your skill set is by going to survivors and then character and then over here you've got uh, two fields you've got your public name which is really cool that you can actually change afterwards and your skill set so this is where you you choose what skill set you are so there's the 10 right there I'm just gonna choose civilian because we made a custom class for that so I will start the server and as you can see it loaded both the loadouts not the 255 one the one that goes to everybody because that sort of uh, nullifies the other ones and let us log on to our own server now I'm gonna have to kill myself because the way loadout works is that everybody every time somebody spawns in either from just being dead or just getting on the server the first time it'll give them the loadout so I've gotta die before it'll you know apply the new loadout okay so let me kill myself and I will respawn with the loadout now there we go there is the loadout as you can see I've got skins over so you can actually tell that I'm wearing the orange shirt and work jeans but that is what I set for the civilian loadout I also gave them a pistol right here Colt and I gave them the food and the chips I copy and pasted those and I gave them antibiotics I copied and pasted those those were originally from the uh, the basic generic loadout the one with the 255 starting at the end so now I'm gonna switch uh, my skill sets and I will try it in um, spec ops so let us do this now we're spec ops once I get back on and kill myself I should theoretically I'm pretty sure it will work I should get a whole new uh, loadout so once we log in come on there we go so at this point we need to kill ourselves to set that new loadout and there we go 
so I obviously souped up Spec Ops a lot more. Once again, you can't see the ghillie suit that I'm supposed to be wearing. I got ghillie top, ghillie bottom, ghillie hood, Alice pack, and the food, just like the other one, because I copied that as well. And, of course, the snipers. Uh. So, um, for those of you who are like, ah, not big, not much of a big change, you know, obviously it isn't that much of a big change, but some of you may not fully realize the implications of this. Now, for those of you who don't want to bother with all this new complexity and stuff, yes, you can just use the loadout command like you used to. That is actually the beauty of this change is, you know, it's backwards compatible. You can do what you used to with this uh, change. But what you can also do now is it sort of adds a, a sort of RPG quality to the servers. You know, depending on your class, depending on your skill set, you'll have different tools to start out with. You know, it'll just change the whole dynamics of this game. And of course, you know, you'll have new role play and it'll just, I think it'll really en enhance the, uh, the survival aspect of this game. Now I'm also thinking of a way that this could actually enhance the PvP uh, version of this game. Where, you know, it's more of a PvP server, it's not PvE. And what that would actually be is that you and your friends could decide beforehand on what those skill sets would be in terms of like which guns would be in them so you know there's a civilian skill set right well there's nothing that says you have to have civilian items in that skill set that could simply be the skill set that uses the maple strike and you know like the cobra so you know another way to use this would be each one of those unique skill sets is going to be a different class so whenever they log on to your server They'll just have to choose, you know, which skill set and which class they want. So anyway, that's uh, basically how to use the loadout command. Um, thankfully, the changes weren't too much. It didn't take me long to figure this out. I did have that problem with uh, figuring out what was up with using the generic skill set and, you know, the specific skill sets. Um, as I said before, actually, you can add these skill sets uh, mid-game. So you have to be admin. Uh, just a second, once I get away from this zombie. Okay, so if you press M, you can tell if you're admin because you got like this ban hammer, I guess. And so to add this mid game, you put the at symbol, and that's actually going to be uh, pretty much a staple for all commands that you enter in game chat. So it's gonna the syntax is going to be exactly the same. Loadout. And then you just, uh, let's see, we'll do a uh, loadout for number one, because we did zero and three, I think. So we'll set a loadout for number one, and we'll give them, we'll just give them a bunch, a bunch of MREs. And there we go. Uh, if you actually look in the server over here, you actually don't see any output in the uh, client side but if you look in the server log you actually see successfully set loadout one now the problem with this uh, you it's cool that you can add this in game but the problem with this is as soon as you restart your server uh, the changes will be gone that loadout will be gone so it doesn't actually add anything to this commands folder so that is the one downside of adding the mid game but of course you know it's also a plus because you can add them mid-game. So anyway guys, hopefully uh, you learned all you need to know about this loadout command. As always, I will have the links in the description to the, uh, the unturned IDs page. I've made a quick bookmark for it. If you're going to be doing a lot of this, I would suggest that. That is a really great use. Saves a lot of time. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.